Did you ever think of whether chicken came first or egg? Many times, right? So what's the answer? And um, if we are 70% water, then why are we not flowing away? Right? There are answers to these questions and many of us actually know. Only thing is we haven't connected the dots. So let's see how uh, we can explain those very simply, very easily. And um, why scientists believe in facts versus just simply knowing what it is and accepting it. Okay, why scientists debate and argue and question. Okay, so here is the PowerPoint that I would like to start. This has been sponsored by healthhomestein.com website. Go and check on that website. It has all the quality products, especially the immune products, immunity boosting products. Why scientists like facts versus only belief? So questions that I'm going to answer. Chicken or egg? Actually, we all know the answer is not chicken, not egg of a chicken, but it's egg of a dinosaur, which is its ancestor. Because we all evolved from our ancestors, right? The um, previous animals with, which came and which we evolved from, we all evolved from one organism to another organism. Humans are said to be from uh, chimpanzees or orangutans, right? So like that, chicken's first egg, egg came first, but it did not come from the chicken, but it came from its ancestor, which are dinosaurs. That's the answer. Evolution is the answer. Many of us know, but for some reason, the question is so popular. So the question keeps going. So coming to um, how, how did it form? How can a dinosaur give rise to a chicken egg? Yeah, that's how it is. New species evolve from existing species. Mutations occur when the ovum and sperm are forming and uh, then they come together and that egg has given rise to a new, newly evolved organism called chicken. And that is how all the mutations uh, lead to different varieties that we have. Like for example, different skin colors we have. We did not come with so many shades all at once as a package. Humans had only a couple of shades and then new shades started evolving because of the mutation. Same with eye colors. Not all mutations are bad. Don't think that DNA mutation means bad. Mutation leads to variety. It is a slow process, uh, but then uh, if you're questioning, is it true that a mutation occurred and led to this one? So yes, we have fossil evidence. Not only that, when the human fetus is forming in mother's womb, we know that there are varieties of stages, right? It's, we start with, we all start our life with one cell called egg. Even the largest whale, blue whale in the sea, though it is humongous, it, it started its life with one egg, small egg, which cannot be seen. Fusion of sperm and ovum. Yeah, and um, we also have, when we were fetus, we were fish-like ones, and then we had the not fingers like this separate right away from the beginning. We had a paw with the skin in between, like frogs, or frogs uh, limbs, right? And um, then we also had a tail, right? And then came humans. The question is not about whether chicken came first or egg came first. My main concern is what about the origin of life? When did that first life originated? When did that first cell form? When did that first atom form? We all came from atoms. So coming to the first atom, a long time ago, 14 billion years ago, when the Big Bang occurred, there was a lot of energy and the temperature was 10 billion K and uh, there was energy and vacuum, absolutely no atoms. You can imagine that was early universe. And then um, because there was vacuum and energy, uh, when energy uh, changed, because you can do that even now, actually take energy and put it around vacuum, you can get, um, you can get uh, new particles, new protons and neutrons, but time out of energy, it's, uh, it's highly impossible to create. It's really difficult to create. We can only now do, you know, bumping atom into atom and creating new atoms. 
So a long time ago, when the uh, radiation was going through that uh, vacuum after Big Bang, uh, because of high temperature, energy got converted to matter. Yes, energy got converted to matter. That is how it came. First positrons, neutrons, uh, electrons, they all came. And um, then the protons and neutrons came together and formed a bunch because uh, the temperature started cooling down and they stayed together and they came together. So that's how the early universe was. And uh, this picture clearly shows that 14 billion years ago, it all started with energy and then matter and then stars and so on and so forth. Let's go to how the first cell formed. Yes, there were um, atoms formed and then atoms bumped into each other and they formed some molecules at the beginning of the universe. But how did the first living cell form, right? So that's going to be my next video. Keep watching or follow the playlist. This is Nalini Odakali. This video is sponsored by healthhomeskin.com.